Of college football won't be in Cheney next year, even if the Eastern Washington University goes undefeated. And that's because the NCAA says the university and former coach Paul Wolf violated a number of rules. Wolf is now the coach at WSU, and the impact of today's news is hitting the Cougar Nation as well. KXLY for in depth coverage tonight with Sally Showman, who talked with disappointed students at EWU. First to KXLY for Ben Kaplan in the Sports Center. Ben, what rules are we talking about here? Well, Dave, the NCAA highlights three major violations by the school's football program between the fall of 2003 and spring of 2007. The infractions include allowing 13 ineligible student athletes to participate in practice activities, having too many coaches on their staff, and failure to monitor the program by the former head coach and the institution. The penalties, most of which the university have already self-imposed, include the loss of two scholarships and one full-time coach for the next three years. They also will lose four spots for ineligible student athletes for that same period of time. The one that surprised the athletic department was the ban from postseason play in 2009. They are still considering whether or not to appeal. But one thing is for sure, the athletic department does not want to have to go through this again. I, I didn't know how the outcome was going to come. I mean, we just knew that at some stage of the game, you know, we'd get an answer and that we would, uh, you know, we'd, we'd take a look at it and, uh, and, and assess it, and that's what we're doing right now. Um, you know, uh, I, I would say that certainly there's no one that wants to be through this process, and, uh, and we hope to, to, to never be through this process again. So that's the look at what Eastern faces. As for their former head coach, Paul Wolf, he was also punished by the NCAA. He'll have to attend an NCAA regional rules seminar for the next three years and pay for that out of his own pocket. He'll also be banned from the Cougars' first three days of practice prior to the start of the 2009 season. Washington State Athletic Director Jim Sterk said the school was aware of the NCAA's investigation of Wolf's Eastern program when they hired him and say they don't think the same thing would happen down in Pullman. We took uh, what the NCAA calls corrective actions when we hired Paul and just as far as they were as far as just education and, and we have a, a great compliance system in place so something like that wouldn't happen at our place. Now, Wolf has yet to make a comment regarding the sanctions the NCAA passed down today. Dennis Patch will have more on this during this show and tonight at 11 on KXLY. Robin? All right, Ben, thanks. In-depth coverage continues tonight with Sally Showman on EWU's campus in Cheney. And Sally, students there are understandably disappointed. Yeah, very disappointed, Robin. They're the most upset, though, because the team won't be allowed to play in the playoffs next year. Some students tell me there's, there's no point in following the regular season if there isn't hope of a postseason. Students seem to agree the sanctions put a big damper on the football program for both fans and players. I talked to a student who says at least one player is considering transferring because of the sanctions. Some students say it's not fair that the team is paying for mistakes made two seasons ago. They complain that Paul Wolf left the school with quite a mess to deal with. It just puts a bad light on the college. I mean, if it's something bad happens, everybody's going to look at us in a bad way, and that's just not good for the whole sports program in general. We had a really good season the one before this last one and it's just I don't know, it gives Eastern football a bad name. Now students tell me they had high hopes for this year's team making this news even more disappointing but as Ben mentioned the school is considering um, filing for an appeal of these sanctions. In Cheney, Sally Shulman, KXLY4 HD News.